too. Uh, so I, I saw this on um, by accident when I was looking at another video, and a lot of people, you know, in, in the community or in the Houston community, Sugarland community, or Sewell Halls, and they're trying to connect these dots, and actually they're not even really trying to. And it's it's a sad reality, but you kind of have to understand that despite how nice, despite how career-driven, passionate, good-hearted modern women are, they're not going to tell you their sexual interest in it. They're not going to tell you what they like. Now, you're going to see this you know, young teacher, um, you know, I, she look, she might be Vietnamese or some shit, um, but you, you're going to see this, you know, this well-respected elementary school teacher is kind-hearted, and you're going to see the motherfucker she brought home. Now, just just seeing that alone, I could really just kind of cut it off because I, I kind of already saw this, and they're just kind of you know they just the dude offed himself eventually when he got to prison, and they're just talking about his char- her character. She was a good, well respected teacher, and you know they're mourning her loss, and then they're doing the whole you know don't make don't. Don't meet strangers off the internet, that kind of shit. with photos showing her love for teaching and her students. In light of the tragedy... There's got to be a general awareness. Authorities are sending this message to anyone planning to meet someone online. Communicating with your parents, your family, your friends. Hey, this is where I'm going. This is who I'm going out with. This is where we're meeting. Are we meeting in a very public place? Are there other people around? Things of that nature. I mean, granted, in the reverse, you know, in the Houston area, a lot of dudes get, you know, caught up too. But, you know, this is like a legit relationship. You know, this was a legit relationship. So I'm not going to kind of cue it in or tie it in with, you know, honey trapping. This wasn't a, a honey trap. Um, parent, a lot of parents, even if you had the conversation about online dating, uh, these women are not going to be honest on the sexual appetite that they have. They like fuck boys. They they like niggas. They like these roughneck niggas. Now Sugarland is a is a high middle class area. You know, a, a nigga like that would probably be in the slum areas of downtown Houston. You know, I can only assume, but the thing is, you know, it's not like this nigga was uh, 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 some respectable businessman. Because if if he was, they would have instantly put his business on blast or where he worked at. You know, this was a, uh, a relationship that was, you know, just probably strictly sex. And drinking. And a lot of these, you know, parents, moms especially, they can't, they don't really, they don't, they don't know what their daughters like. They, they, they don't. They don't know what the dudes that they're taking home. They don't know the dudes that they're sleeping with. They, they, let these naive moms tell it. Their daughters are either born again virgins um, they're only bringing in um, Christian 
men who have been like friend zone for two years and stay patient, you know, or they're not bringing in men at all. And it's like, I think it's like spaces like this where you, 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 when you understand female nature and you know that, you know, they'll, they'll make it seem like, oh my God, you know, women are just so gullible and they're so trusting and men fuck it up by, you know, taking their, tr- taking, taking advantage of their trust. It's like, nah, if this was a, an educated, lame, an EL dude, regardless if he was black, white, or Asian, that dude would not have been in a relationship with her within a week. And that dude for damn sure would not have been already knowing where she lived. That, if this was an EL, this dude would be, he would have to talk to her for six months straight, and then he would only have, like, a small window to see her. You know, he'd probably only be able to, like, see her probably, like, once a month, and then she'll flake out and say that she's doing, she's busy with schooling, job, work, family, travel, and she will give you the whole nine yards of, you know, why you wanting to see her is so fucking selfish. It, 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 you know, I've been through it. You know, it's it's so selfish for you to ask because you're 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 you don't have, you have no regard for her well being and her boundaries. But, you know, a, a nigga like this, you know, you know a, a, a nigga like that. You know, a, a nigga like that got the got the box with ease. Eh, I can bet you he probably didn't even have a car. He probably don't even have a registered car in his name. Yeah, it, 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 it really is just so senseless and stupid. Like, this dude offed himself, and the mother of Wendy was, was so frustrated. She was like, damn, that nigga cheated death, man. He, he cheated the justice system. He cheated the justice. To, he should have rotted, and he should have had the book thrown at him. You know, a lot of people, and it's really not even just parents, but a lot of people are naive on the guys that these women bring home. You you thinking they're bringing home engineers, scientists, or you know, a well respected guy, and it's like nah. You know, there's there's a reason why your your daughter is always always crying at night, or you know she she's frustrated with dating, or she's keeping it to herself. Nah, because you don't know who she's taking home. And you, these females can be in the best locations in America. They can be in the best locations, the best neighborhoods. And she will literally bypass all those guys that she worked with who are in better positions than her or willing to provide and be there for. She will bypass all of these dudes to slum. I, I, I can bet you this dude already had the keys to her house. I bet you he already fucked her by the time. Uh, he, he probably only put like five responses and, and I bet you she gave up the address um the ass and then he, he ain't had to do a damn thing he probably she probably put $20 in the tank or maybe better yet she probably paid for his Uber you see as a non-slide guy especially a lot of women want to like they want to play games and act like they're tough and that they, they have this high standard. And it's almost believable until you meet, you meet a guy like this in real life, whether or not he's a killer, you know. You meet a guy like that in real life and he'll be he'll be honest with you. He'll be like, man, I don't even understand why she putting up a front with you because I got the box, you know, with ease. I, I, I didn't have to commit. I never told her I loved her. 
and she knows I'm talking to another chick on the side, and, and it's like, you know, as this good guy, you're, you're, you're sitting back and you're frustrated. It's like, damn, what am, what am I doing wrong? I'm tr- I was raised to be the counter of guys like you. That's how my mama raised me. That's how grandma wanted to see me be be like, you know. I was spoon fed the the what 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 a real man is. But but these niggas are the ones running circles on women that you're trying to get with. You know they, these women are putting you in the friend zone. These women aren't even giving you a good conversation. These chicks are like literally even sabotaging their own relationships with you just to entertain guys like this. Just for that. I know she gave up. And this ain't really the slut shame her or make her feel bad, you know, because this dude's a piece of shit. But then again, but the thing is, you know, we're red pill. It gets it gets to a fucking point, to where we're really tired of fucking guys like this, and then they're they're the ones making black men look bad, men look bad, dating the dating world look bad, and nobody wants to call that out because, well, actually the thing that nobody want to call out is that, fem- females women. Sought out these dudes. They are intentionally getting with these dudes. But when we get rejected, when we don't get what we want, we're told to shut up and don't say anything. But this happened, everybody's shocked. Everybody's shocked. It's like, I don't understand. Like, how can she date a guy like him? Look, look, I, look, look, look at the comments. i never seen these comments, but I can bet on it. Something tells me she nor her friends liked him and wanted the guy to leave amazes me how so many people are out here killing people like they're doing like it's nothing nah her friends probably didn't like the dude but then again you know so what these these women will I've seen them where women will literally fight off their best friends just to keep an ain't shit nigga so you, do, you you guys have to learn to apply female nature into these stories and stop acting like this chick would like stop acting like these chicks didn't know who these dudes were. Cause that's how you feel, that's how you get into this loop of feeling sorry for them for for, for stupid shit. Or, or watch the comments. It was his friends at her house, not her friends at her house. Okay. What did it say in the video that one of her friends are wait? Leaving these dating apps alone. No, even if it wasn't even the apps, she would have sought out a dude like this in person. So it it, it ain't the apps. A week. Look, everybody's shocked now. Everybody's shocked. He felt like killing her. That's what happens when women go for the Ray Ray and Pookie type guy. Okay, right? Tyrone. Sorry. See, yeah, then everybody's gonna try to put their their little racist shit on here. Is this like a divest or something? Yeah. But first, an arrest is made in. Yeah, it's one of these divesters. Because she wanted dick. <laughs> she she wanted she wanted the some sex that was wild, edgy. I can tell, I can take a guess. It wasn't because of his face, pictures, he sent her. Most have liked big bad boys with big toys. Okay. See, and this person, then they got, they got mad. They, they got mad. Wait, wait, this is a response to 
Wait, who the hell is this? That's Gary. He was silent majority. What did he what did this person say? Where is silent majority? See that's the messiness of this. I do not see a silent majority. All right, I, I don't know who, who where this person is. At. But first, an arrest. All right, okay. So we well, let's get back to it. Let's get back. Where is that comment? You can leave the dating apps alone. It's not going to change females' nature of what they like. You know. And that's, that's the hard thing. And surprisingly, like, even in... This is... I remember there was another viral killing in the Sugarland area where um, an OnlyFans model was killed by a dude who um, was a trick from Florida... And they were really, they were really hush hush about it. They were really hush hush about it, and they were trying to spin the story that the dude was homeless, somehow magically found her apartment or her house, and killed her. And it was like nah, because everybody was figuring out like, wait a minute, he knew her prior, and he was paying for her lifestyle, but the dude just happened to look bummy. Maybe because he got strung out some shit and he was addicted to her and, you know, uh, he, he he was probably spiraling out, out of control and, you know, he just probably wanted to offer really bad. Maybe. But a lot of people were trying to spin the story that um, that it was a, ho a random homeless dude from Florida went to a sugar. And I'm like, I, I, I debunked that shit so quick because, for one, I'm familiar with that neighborhood. And there's no way in hell a homeless dude is going to jump that gate, that gate fencing, because that, that is a pretty tall gate fencing. And that's not really easy to climb. So it's like, okay, one, and even if he's in that neighborhood, he will stick out like a sore thumb. And I can bet you somebody's going to call the, the, the neighborhood police or security and he would have been dealt with. Two, that's just random as fuck. That he just magically, you know, was walking around and just saw a beautiful, you know, Instagram model, and then he just offered it. Like it's 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 too silly, man. It's too silly. Uh, this is the problem with modern day news is that they don't want to be honest on what these females are doing at night. So <laughs> I do not see I do not see the comment. What is the comment? I know I had like 48 responses or some shit. Uh, I think it probably went down on the list. Damn, I shouldn't have fucking pressed that button. But let me see if I can find any other good, good comments. See? Just like what I said, it's not the dating app. It's the person... Killings happen. Okay, they kind of be a little more sympathetic, but I was hoping that person would talk about it. it's not the it's not the dating apps. It's what she likes. Is is this is like people act like dudes just get get their way all the fucking time, and that's like that's not really fucking true. Women are not that gullible. Put a non select guy in her face, and she will reject him with with so much ease. You know, compared to a, a story like this, to where you know a dude's in, a dude. After within a week of a relationship, man, that's that's crazy as fuck. You know, there's dudes waiting to get the box within years of knowing a chick, <laughs> it, it, telling them telling them that a guy got it in a week will, will probably make them cry. But 
it. You know, I can't, I can't find a goddamn comment. I don't know where it's at. see felt like it was this but no it couldn't have been but yep yeah yeah but I'll just I'll just end it there you don't know what these girls are like man you gotta know what they like <laughs> <laughs>